For this problem, I need to get the equation in the correct form. The correct form is y prime plus p of x times y equal to q of x. Because there's an x squared in front of the y prime, I have to divide all the terms by x squared to get it in the correct form. That'll be y prime plus x plus 2 over x times y is equal to e to the power of x over x squared. My new p of x is this term. It's x plus 2 over x. So mu is going to be e to the power of p of x dx. So mu will be equal to e to the power of x plus 2 over x dx. I can split this integral into two separate integrals, the first being x over x, and the other one being 2 over x. I'll just pull the 2 on the outside, and it'll be 1 over x. So it'll be e. The first integral is just 1 dx, which will become x. And the other one will become 2 ln x. So it'll be x plus 2 ln x. That 2 will jump to the, become the exponent for the x. It'll be e to the x plus ln of x squared. This can be split into two separate uh, exponentials, first being e to the x, then it'll be multiplied by e to the ln of x squared. The e will cancel the ln, and we'll be left with just x squared. So mu will be x squared times e to the x. Now we multiply that with the original function up here. It'll be this one. It'll be x squared e to the x times y prime plus x plus 2 over x times y. And we'll do the same to the other side. It'll be x squared times e to the x times e to the x over x squared. These x squareds will cancel out, and the e's will add up together, and we'll have e to the 2x. I'll now distribute on the left. It'll be x squared e to the x times y prime plus x squared e to the x times x plus 2 over x. I could simplify that, but I don't need to. I know that that left-hand side is just the product rule of mu times y. When you take its derivative, that's going to be equal to e to the 2x. Mu, we said, was x squared e to the x times y. And then take its derivative. That'll be equal to e to the 2x. We can now integrate both sides. On the left, the integral will cancel with the derivative. And on the right, e, the integral of e to the 2x is going to be 1 half e to the 2x plus c. On the left, because the integral canceled the derivative, we can just write x squared e to the x times y. To get y by itself, we can just divide both sides by x squared e to the x. So y will be equal to 1 half times e to the 2x over x squared e to the x plus c over x squared e to the x. One of those e's will cancel with one of them up there, and we'll just get 1x on the top. So y will be equal to e to the x over 2x squared plus c e to the negative x over x squared. And that is our final answer. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.